And we're finishing out the month of October on a little bit of a chilly note. In fact, after we look back at all of October, it's going to be a near normal month. Finally, after such a hot summer and September, at least October coming more in line Too dry, though, and we don't see a big change in that anytime soon. So let's take a look at the upper level patterns all about the chilly air and this big upper trough that's going to be dominating much of the eastern U.S. and part of the central U.S. at this matter. Uh, Back to the west, you have a ridge of high pressure that's dominating a little bit more sedate weather here, but weather systems plowing into the northwest, and then they're diving down and moving off to the east. But we're pretty much not in a storm track right now, just in a track for chillier temperatures, and we're getting a fresh delivery of Canadian air. You can smell it out there as well. Nice, clean air moving in, uh, and not much wildfire smoke as well. Now, as we take a look, what's happening down at the surface here up in the Midwest, uh, kind of a little bit of an outbreak. Alberta Clipper here producing snow. This is diving off to the east and uh, round it, whipping much colder air, especially for our friends to the north. And we're getting a little bit of a taste of that. Finally, the clouds clearing out across most of Acadiana, pretty much on schedule. It's going to be a clear, cool, cold night. Uh, but with the wind still going, we're not going to see temperatures maximizing as cold as they can get. But nonetheless, could be approaching near freezing up towards central Louisiana by daybreak tomorrow. Power Doppler 3, all is quiet now. Its work is done for the day. We did have some showers moving across the area late this morning, early this afternoon. Since then, just a few sporadic showers down to the south, and that's it. And we're done with the precip and the cloud cover. Now, for tonight, what do we have going on? A freeze warning in effect for central Louisiana. This is for tonight. Tomorrow night, a freeze watch in effect for the rest of Acadiana, mainly most of Acadiana, the northern parishes and along the I-10 corridor, and that will probably change to a freeze warning this time tomorrow. So warning means it's going to happen very soon, 12 to 24 hours, a watch next 24 to 48 hours. Thus, we're in the watch area as we head into tomorrow night, and this freeze watch may get extended to a freeze warning, and now it just covers the northern I-10 parishes, not the southern end, but I got a feeling we'll see most of the I-10 parishes probably through St. Martin Parish thrown in the freeze warning for tomorrow night. So it is time to think about protecting the sensitive plants and pets, uh, pets for sure, especially central Louisiana tonight. You have another day and then it'll be uh, farther to the south. We're going to see upper 30s though, even in Lafayette overnight tonight, and that's how the models are showing it. Uh, clear and cold, still breezy. Tomorrow we get into the mid to upper 50s to about 60 for a high. Look at that dew point down to 12. So our humidity going below 20%. Super dry air. That's not necessarily good for those that have um, some sort of ri weather rhinositisitis. I'm one of them where the sinuses are always going between the changes from outdoor to indoor. Then tomorrow night, we're going to be heading down into the low to mid 30s. So we'll say a frost or light freeze will be possible as the winds die down as well. Tonight, we're not going to have a frost. Probably not a freeze for most of us because the winds are going to keep the atmosphere mixed up. And then as we head into Thursday afternoon, we only get to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be back into the mid-60s, if not upper 60s to near 70 for a high for Thursday. After that, we warm up as we head into the weekend. But tonight, look at the temperature forecast. 33, 32 possible, 34 likely for most. And thus, the freeze warning for tonight up towards central Louisiana. In most of Acadiana, mid to upper 30s. And remi um, mind you, uh, the winter Wind chill is going to be about five degrees colder and then mid to upper 30s across the coastal parishes as well. Then tomorrow, upper 50s to near 60. Very similar today, but at least you'll have the sun. If you can get in the sun away from the wind, it's going to feel really good. That wind dying down, though, by day's end and upper 50s to lower 60s down across the coast. Now, tomorrow night. Hard to believe we had 110 degree temperatures just 61, 62 days ago. Tonight, uh, tomorrow night, rather, upper 20s to lower 30s, lower to mid 30s, I-10 quarter. This is the night you're going to have to protect the plants. And please make sure the pets have a warm place to stay tonight, tomorrow night, maybe the night after as well. Wind chills if you're on out uh, trick-or-treating in the low to mid 40s this evening and dropping down into the upper 20s to lower 30s for tomorrow morning. So bundle on up. Overnight tonight. 
tonight. Ooh, cue the spooky music. 39, the overnight low, dress in layers with the skies clearing across the board. It should be a ghostly night indeed with that moon coming up late tonight. Jupiter overhead as well, looking real pretty. Breezy and cold to start the day tomorrow. The winds die down in the afternoon. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine will go 60 for your afternoon high. And after that frosty start Thursday morning, it's warming back up mid 70s Friday and back to near 80 this weekend and into early next week as well till the next front arrives and the next front doesn't look nearly as chilly. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up right after the break.